York Region Transit, also known as YRT, is developing its 2024 transit initiatives to identify service changes for the coming year. The valuable feedback you provide will play an important role to help continue to improve transit service in York Region. When developing annual transit initiatives, YRT staff review a variety of documents and policies to align with York Region's short, medium, and long-term goals, such as a zero emission system by 2050, or making connections with other transit agencies, cycling, and pedestrian infrastructure. This slide shows nine examples of guiding documents that are considered when developing annual transit initiatives. In addition to planning transit service on an annual basis, YRT has also prepared a business plan outlining key strategies to improve YRT service over the next five years. The image on the right shows the 2021 to 2025 business plan, which can be found on yrt.ca. The most recent five-year plan highlights seven key strategies. Route optimization means aligning transit services to meet traveler needs. This can involve adjusting routes and frequency and introducing or canceling services. Fare and service integration means working with other transit agencies in the GTA to make transfers between municipalities easier for travelers. This includes looking at routes crossing municipal boundaries, how fares are paid, and how much travelers pay. The Frequent Transit Network is a vision of a grid-like network of routes within the region, which are planned to operate at 15-minute or better frequency, six days per week. This program is being implemented in phases with some frequency improvements planned for 2024. The Express Network identifies opportunities to introduce or improve existing express routes in York Region. These routes tend to operate on major highways and service limited stops, decreasing overall travel time. Mobility on request services allow customers the flexibility to book a trip when they need it, using a smaller vehicle, especially in areas where bus routes may not be available. YRT continues to expand mobility on request services and has introduced a mobile application allowing travelers to book and track their trips in real time. Go Rail expansion includes YRT's continuing effort to work with Go Transit to enhance connections at Go stations throughout the region. YRT continues to be a partner in the Young North Subway Extension and Scarborough Subway Extension projects. Staff are identifying opportunities for YRT services to connect with future TTC subway line extensions throughout the TTC subway network. In December 2020, York Regional Council approved the Transit Fleet Electrification Plan. YRT will continue to gradually purchase electric buses between 2021 and 2029 and will purchase only electric buses from 2030 onward. YRT currently has 12 electric buses within its fleet, with two more coming later this year, and we will be piloting the use of electric sedans for mobility on request services. Our goal is to have the entire fleet converted to electric vehicles by 2050. We are looking to accelerate the transition to electric buses through Infrastructure Canada's Zero Emission Transit Fund, which would allow for additional electric bus purchases between 2024 and 2026, with a target of up to 180 diesel buses being replaced with electric buses. This slide shows a battery-powered electric bus being charged at Newmarket Terminal and at our Operations Maintenance and Storage Facility. York Region Transit continues to evaluate and pilot emerging technology solutions to improve our services. To support the expansion of electric buses, improvements to the charge management system will help to monitor and coordinate efficient charging activity and optimize battery life based on operational requirements. Over the next five years, YRT will be replacing existing end-of-life bus time screens at Viva stations and installing solar-powered digital information displays at select curbside stops where electric power is not currently available. This will help to improve the availability of real-time information at stops. Also, YRT will be evaluating a driver status monitor system on six buses to monitor operator behavior and alertness using recognition technology and to provide real-time alerts. Using artificial intelligence, deficiency detection devices will be piloted on transit vehicles to scan, identify, and report stop, shelter, and amenity deficiencies, such as broken or missing signs, glass, garbage bins, concrete pads, and blocked pedestrian access ways. In addition to the ongoing projects supporting delivery of transit services, YRT has supported programs to assist travelers. The Transit Assistance Program supports eligible residents between the ages of 18 and 64 with a cost of transit. Participants receive a discounted single fare, and after 40 rides in a calendar month, their trips for the remainder of the month are free. Additional information can be found at yrt.ca slash tap. This slide shows an in-person travel training session where a traveler is learning how to use Presto to pay for their fare on the system. 
Travel training can empower people to use transit so they can travel spontaneously, become more independent, and improve their quality of life. By encouraging transit use, travel training enables people to participate more fully in their community. YRT offers both in-person individual travel training and virtual group orientations to assist travelers learning how to navigate the system. Information regarding the MyRide travel training program can be found on yrt.ca slash myride. The annual plan process begins at least one year before service changes are made on street. This diagram shows the ongoing service planning cycle. The 2024 transit initiatives are currently in the stakeholder and public consultation phase to gather feedback from internal and external stakeholders. Once feedback has been collected, YRT will finalize the planned initiatives, receive regional council's endorsement on the proposed changes through operating and capital budget approvals, and publish the annual plan document on yrt.ca. The 2024 transit initiatives are separated into four categories for your review and feedback. Please take some time to review the planned service changes and provide your feedback on our interactive map available at yrt.ca slash transit plan. We thank you for taking the time to provide your suggestions. Your feedback is an important part of York Region Transit's service planning process.